This feels like a dab. If there's a whiting, I'm going home. Hey, so we've got a dab. Um, I do like dab. I mean, they are a small flatfish, but they give the rod tip a rattle. They taste nice um, and easily distinguished between a flounder. They've got this sort of half circle here and then the lateral line continues straight on. Um, that's one way to tell them apart and see which side the eyes are there as well and when you run your finger like that back it's actually rough to the touch. Uh, hook discourses are good but I think what we'll do here I'm just going to turn that back to front push it out the right way and there you go the dab brilliant This is a low profile spool. I made a bit of a <laughs> mistake and I haven't filled it in with enough line. Now that's partly to do with my magnificent casting. To be honest, I didn't put enough line on, did I? Okay, so we're out again. As you can see, the conditions are really, really calm. Um, easier. It is quite cold though, it's about minus two. Tide's running quite well. These are bigger tides. Here is 7.4 meters, which which for us means spring tide, really. Oh, we're just getting this rig together. Just reminded me, we found some of these old things. These are horrendous. You do not want to be casting a, a lead off those. Just be reminded of those by a couple of friends. Actually, we found that one on the beach. So you don't want those. Much prefer these type of clips. The one with the swivel, obviously, going on your line. And then I like the non-swivelled clip just going on to the lead quite calm today these are quite big juicy baits here for these size two hooks i'm going to put that bit and go head first onto here and what i'm intending to do with these is, is cast out there's a there's a bit where the current really picks up out there and I want to be on that sort of line. Um, just a hunch, but the place prefer the, hard, the faster moving water. Uh, they can move about a little bit easier. Uh, and it's quite slack, the tide in here. But actually, when you get a bit further out, I'm not sure if the camera picks this up, but a little bit further out, you've definitely got um, faster running water. Well, those are sitting really well in that little bit of tide there. Both have got two hook cascade rigs on, three ounce leads. We're just starting to get a little tap actually on this the rod on the right. I think we might have something. really feeling much of a rattle but when I lifted that lead up uh, there was a little tap so there might be something small on here it's nothing at all sometimes it's a bit easier putting the bait uh, on when it lines up like this you've got a little bit of tension in that 
main body of rig line. And more juicy live lug going on. I wanted these cascade rigs because well that's what water, water's cold in your bum. <laughs> uh, I wanted the cascade rigs really because I want a bit of distance today. That looks like a place bite. Rattle. Well, that was a bit of rattle. There we have a hook fish. Again. No. A little, tiny little hits, but no fish. Another missed bite. Another little dab. They are such a beautiful little fish. The coloration on this one's a bit different. And I'm using these, I'm using these flat fish hooks here. They're slightly offset. Well, as you can see, it's quite small, but it's, believe it or not, sizable. Um, but it's very small, isn't it? I think we're going to just put this one back, give it a chance, can we? got a load of leads today and um, there's a guy using a metal detector uh, he actually watches the channel as well didn't recognize me recognized Nelly um, I don't know what he's come up with for us look at that so he's found some lures here and some leads as well and even a little Dexter wedge that's been sat in the sand for years I'd imagine how good is that? Oh, thanks to him, uh, we've got some leads and I actually do need these because I've forgotten uh, a few lighter leads. So, brilliant, great.
got a uh, fishing glove, really just protects against that braid, you know, stops that braid. Well, I got into a bit of a tangle. Uh, got to sort of slow down a little bit. We have got something on, I think. There's a little bit of weight on this line. off. <laughs> I thought I'd share this little casting mess up with you. <laughs> so this is me um, casting but what I hadn't done is tighten down the spool. You always got to tighten the spool on those thick spools um, and you'll see the result um, when we get to the end of the video. So stay, stay tuned for that. So when you look out there, I think you can see out there Boats have got the nets down and they're working about a mile offshore. So in many ways you've got to be pleased with scratching out that little dab. Um, it's kind of tough fishing this time of year. There's flounder, dab and some early place. A bit frustrated about the place. <laughs> so if you've been out fishing, let us know here on the channel. I'd love to know what you're all up to and whereabouts you're from. Um, and then I'll also share at the end there a link to a video where we do something that's a really good little trick actually to catch more dabs.